What's up, guys? It's Z One Bit Universe, and this is going to be uh, episode ten of My Little Pony of season six. I don't have the title, so I can't talk about it. But what I can talk about is just you know from last episode and pretty much the season in general. We're in the territory of a lot of things coming together and a lot of things uh, starting anew, like like a lot actually. So I don't know what to expect from this episode, but the last episode was pretty like you know chill. Nothing in, uh, major happened. Nothing. It, it, the only thing that really would you count as major is that uh, another rarity, uh, uh, rarity, another portion of Rarity's newfound expansions of her of her works is now up and running and looks to be in good shape. But yeah, as for like threats or like conflicts or meanings of life that we need to learn about in this uh, in this show, that uh, nothing really occurred. So. Who knows if this episode is going to be continuing that trend or something, you know, otherly is going to happen. So, haven't seen Discord in a bit. Kind of waiting for that guy. So, three, two, one, now. Is these sort of, is these sort of times that he would probably show up at a point? He didn't even get much of a cameo in one of the other episodes. That. Planning to stay in here, darling. Here, <laughs> is a pony else waiting? No, oh no. I just ran around you to get all that it's what Bruni? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's like if you've been there for a while. Applejack. It's been so long since we've had a relaxing day at the spa together. I'm quite certain she'll be along any moment. Oh, oh well, if this is a rarity in Applejack episode, that'd be great. Hope you didn't stand you up. Which I tried to get here earlier. I just can't believe how much time my chores are taking up these days. No, this is gonna be bad. Finally get to spend some quality spa time together. This right? is bad. Okay, Phyllis, that's it. We're closing up for the day. I whoa. Oh, shucks, Rarity. I guess I missed the whole day. I sure am sorry. Oh, God! I knew it! Ah, oh, dude, I knew, I, knew, I knew it was gonna be bad. I knew it was gonna be bad. I knew, but, okay, it's not new Spongebob levels of Cringy, whatever the heck they're trying to do with the animation, kind of bad. But my God, it was something I didn't want to see. Cause I keep forgetting that their horns can droop down like that too. Because apparently their horn, I don't know. It's just I. Ah. Okay, sure. Okay, it's creepy as I was. If this is a rarity in an Applejack episode, so they can like start to have quality time together. How long has it been since we had a rarity in Applejack centric episode? Since my memory is really bad, I can't really remember very well. I think it involved Manhattan, but I could be wrong. Hi, Rarity. Morning, Twilight. Spike. Good heavens, that's a lot of empty pie plates. Uh, yeah. We were just heading to pick up some fresh pies. I don't know why we keep running out of the castle. <laughs> I probably has something to do with you probably you not eating what any of them and leave? Twilight being a pig over there. Sure, she'll be too busy once again. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. It's just that Applejack and I haven't had one of our spa days in ages. Hmm. You two really should set aside some time. Darling, I have been trying to like you... But Applejack is so busy these days, it's next to impossible. Wow. Yeah, that's not, it's just not on her end. She's, so she's trying to, to meet halfway. Not really working out that way. Hey, Applejack. Whoa, oh, watch your sweat. Ice, please. Sure thing, Spike. Mm. I don't suppose those pies are the last chore on the schedule for today. Actually, no. I got what some apple bucking. Got some more apple ready? bucking. More apple pie bacon from the bucking of Wait, the apples. Why don't you go on ahead and I'll meet you there? Hmm. Oh, please, Applejack. Let's not kid ourselves. Well, it ain't because I don't want to, but the work on the farm has just been taking up more and more of my time. Mm. I hate seeing what happened to your health time together. Can't you get some pony else in your family to take over for a bit? Let's get that explanation. Mm. Wish I could. But Granny, Big Mac, and Apple Bloom all have chores of their own. Okay. Today they're all busy taking the harvest to market. Okay, so it's just like a farmers. sudden spike I'm of sure spike and I could handle extra stuff. For a little while. Maybe. Is there one chore we could do? Well, 
you know, I do have magic. I could, you know, do something. You got started on feeding the pigs. Ah. I could maybe leave for an hour. Woo! An hour of spa perfection. I can work with that. Perfect. You head off to the spa, and Spike and I'll take care of things here. Well, Again, this needs to be one of this, like you know, slice of. Uh, is it slice of life? I need to look up at that definition, but it's just like you know. Covered. No big uh, looming threat. Just well. As okay. far as I know, this she's acting way a little too weird. You need to know to feed the pigs. But uh, maybe I should go over it with you just to. Applejack, please. If there's a list involved, I am 100% on top of it. Yeah, a little bit too on top what? of it. You're in the sky, you know. You, you, and don't you're worry about things space. Here. Spike and I have totally got this. I mean, it's just feeding the pigs. How hard can it be? Oh, extremely difficult. Uh, Twilight. Whoa. Oh come on! You you had lists like that before. I've been putting work before. Mostly made by you, but you know what I mean. I know we've only got an hour, but I can't wait to have a steam. A steam is just the start. I know what we'll do, and an hour will be perfect. Okay, Spike, ready with that list? Hmm. Ready. Okay, step one. Let's do this. Look at the pigs. Step one. Open the gate. Okay. Okay. Mm. Step two. Close the gate. Huh? Just close That's the gate. What it says. I think you need to get inside. Step so. three. Walk away. Walk away? Really? Hmm. So okay, she just basically is doing some mind-numbing, undoable task until she gets back or something like that. I don't know. You simply must give yourself over to the idea that you are off duty and try to relax. I know. You're right. I really am glad we're doing this, and as long as it's only an hour, I'm sure everything will be just fine. Yeah, exactly. only an hour. Kindly step and this show standard's probably like 22 minutes or so. Oh, hey, Ray Ray Rainbow Dash. What are you doing here? <laughs> what, can, 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 she, can she be, you know, spa? Thing, exactly. What? What are you talking about? I'm a wonder bowl. Totally not. At least not the fruit kind. Huh. Yeah, I uh I think I tweaked something at Wonderbolt's practice the other day. Right. I just came in for a deep tissue sports massage. Of course. Oh, like I all the greatness. So sorry, but we are running just a tad behind and we are not quite ready to start your pampered muzzle massage and indulgent hoofy cure just yet. Okay, Miss Scented Candle. Oh! <laughs> Only these rabbits are I'm pretty sure that wasn't what I signed up for. But they are your usual. But it seems like you're really busy today anyway. I'll just come back tomorrow. Uh, see you two later. Have fun. But put me down for the same thing. Right. Rainbow Dash, just <laughs> unlock your feelings. It's fine. She just hates those frou frou spa treatments. She could have joined us for a nice steam. Wait, I can't wait. <laughs> Indeed. Although if they couldn't fit Dashi in, I wonder just how far behind things are running. Oh come on, your rarity. Very tight schedule. You know, there are plenty of people that I run into that says schedule, schedule. Like, is there a proper pronunciation, or is this like a you know a thing where like well, maybe not different people like how people pronounce different things like wheelbarrow oh, no. and wheelbarrow? Well, what we're waiting for. Oh, I hope you're not in a hurry. That yeah, sure is fine. Every pony here wants a steam bath? Yeah. Of course, steam baths are the best. Well, the solution is obvious. We we'll simply have to start our short time at the spa with something else. Huh, nothing doing. I came here to have a steam, and that's just what I'm gonna get. But, but, you might as well go and find yourself your own morning. steam center. My favorite customer. And Apple Yak. Okay, I gotta say, this is well, probably so the first episode where they're, uh, we're, you were here together. like, so they're to getting a lot of screen time. Well, I wish I could you know what I mean? Same. Yes, the wait time for the steam room certainly has been getting worse lately, but I'm sure we'll be able to accommodate your usual treatments. Not without my steam. Apparently, mm. Applejack won't consider starting her time at the spa without a steam, and we only have that pouty face, though. That is a problem. That lip. Applejack, <laughs> where are you going? Um, why are y'all just standing here? 
just waiting for the steam to build up. Really? Without steam, a steam room's just a room, and I've got plenty of those at home. Because I live in a mansion. I immediately hate you. Like, you're, you're... It's not even on. It has or been taking longer for the steam to reach that Ponyville Day Spa quality. Huh. We even had to add the warm towel service. So sorry for the delay, every pony. Please help yourselves. Okay. Because <laughs> I live in a mansion, so, and I live on the moon. Steam, that must mean there's not enough hot water. Oh, Applejack, honestly, can't we just start with the whole secure? We're going to run out of time. Or, you know. Well, actually, it hasn't been, yeah, again, show logic. You have to shorten down times for the initial time that it is, takes to get it through an episode. But, you know, the, the joke is always there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, if, if, if it would be this episode, that would have reminded me, yeah, he did have a job here. But I still want him to have his own gym. It'd be pretty cool. Ha! Now, what do we have here? The laundry room, of course. And at this point, I'm considering sucking my hooves in one of the machines, so my time here isn't a total loss. So that wait. The day spa prides itself on sanitary conditions, and the fresh linens are integral part. Mm. Well, sure, but have you always run every single one of these here machines full bore? All yeah. Day, every day? The answer is no. I was just but like... Only sure do love the warm towel service. So it's like, you're you're making warm towel. That's exactly something that popped in my mind as soon as he was given a warm towel. They're like, aren't you using some of the steam and stuff to get those things hot? That you could have been using for the room? <laughs> so it's like counterproductive. Yeah, he, he, he's actually dead. The, that squeaking sound is kind of like Goku from the uh, Team 4 Star uh, Dragon Ball Z Bridge. Well, like I said, warm towels are a big hit. Yeah, but it, it, it defeats the purpose of... Uh, I think I figured out the problem. You've got a small leak, and that means the steam takes just a little longer to build up. A little longer? Wait, they get cold. Cold ponies start wrapping themselves in towels, mm. and all those dirty towels have to be cleaned. Because yeah. Ponyville Day Spa prides itself on clothes. And uh, rinse and repeat. But yeah, it, thanks, Applejack. Using steam makes you use more towels. That means you do more laundry, which uses up the hot water you need to make more steam, so the problem just keeps getting worse. So yeah, suck it up and deal with it. I had no idea. Wonderful. Now that we've solved the great steam mystery, we can finally get back to our significantly less than an hour of relaxation. Rarity, are you kidding? I can't just leave things like this. Yeah, it wouldn't I'm be the... My tools. Oh. <sighs> Applejack the mechanic. Has she shown mechanical qualities or is this like the first time? I'm pretty sure she probably did because, you know, the show is very intricate. But, you know, me and my memory hasn't really been good, per se. But Applejack seems like that type, so I wouldn't be surprised. So, right now, Applejack is, again, doing work while Rarity is relaxing and stuff. Which sucks because you know it really defeated the purpose of the entirety of, of the reason they came here. Ponies won't get so cold they use up all those towels, and without all that laundry, there'll be plenty of hot water for all the steam any pony could want. And I only have to be doing wash once a day. Huh? Wow, Applejack! Have you ever considered the career in the spa industry? No. I'm sure, I can find something for you. <laughs> no thanks. I'm just relieved I can finally relax in the steam. What do right. you say, Rarity? It sounds lovely, Applejack, but unfortunately, we spend so much time fixing the steam room, we don't have any time left to use it. It sucks that we didn't come back to Twilight and how she's doing, like, in midstream for this, because it'd be hilarious. There's just so many other things to worry about. I suppose 
we get used to the way things are, and we don't realize there was a problem. <laughs> obviously need an outside eye to evaluate the situation. It's lucky for you, Applejack is too stubborn to relax. Uh, I'm <laughs> sorry, Rarity. We'll just have to do this another day. Twilight and Spike should be done feeding the pigs by now. Yeah, after Twilight the 15 billion part thing. Pony. I'm sure she can figure out what to do next. Oh, never gonna cut back, right? I know no, darn it. Princess and an alicorn, but she isn't a farmer. No. Nope. I've been doing farm work my whole life, and I'm not sure it's something you can just figure out. Of course. Ooh, why don't we pop back so you can explain to Twilight what to do next, and then we'll come back here and pick up where we left off? Well, okay. Suppose I could try. Assuming everything went well so far. Oh yeah. Applejack, honestly, how could it not? The, I mean, the first three—if if the first three steps had anything to go by, they should be like in Canterlot right now. <laughs> Wouldn't it be easier to just fly? I told what? you, Spike. We're following Applejack's list to the letter, and what? Applejack doesn't fly. <laughs> well, here's the thing, Twilight. You remember that thing you said in the last episode about how a particular thing should be done in your own particular way? I know it's a list and all, and you want to be respectful, but... I'm sorry, Rarity, Really? But I think I'm gonna have to finish these chores myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it, but it's not fun work without grit and determination. Spike and I were just trying to follow Applejack's list as closely as possible. Mm, maybe not the best plan. I'm sorry, nah. Applejack, but we never even got started feeding the pigs. That's all right, Twilight. I know you did your best. I guess a list can't really capture all the ways I have of doing things. Yeah. At least you two got to Please, I want you to together. point yeah, by point do it. Relaxing. I want to see how convoluted this was. Applejack fix plumbing counts as relaxing. Then yes. What about your hour of spa perfection? As it turns out, the Ponyville Day Spa had a few problems with their steam room, and some pony refused to relax until she had fixed them. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't let those spa ponies go another minute putting up with problems they didn't even know they had. Huh. Somehow they just got used to a huge bottleneck of ponies standing around waiting. But I took one good look at that spa jam, and I knew I had to do something. Sometimes the simplest things can just derail a whole operation. <laughs> so weird. Whether it's a leaky pipe or doing too much laundry. You can't just stick to the same old way of doing things and expect them to get better. I didn't actually expect her to actually do it step by step, but okay. I mean, thinking you can is just plum ridiculous, right? I get it, plum ridiculous, because she's a plumber. <laughs> it's funny when you realize the extra work they were doing was actually making things worse. Yeah, that was an engineering job. That was a. Really? I mean, I could you just? Possible to get stuck in a routine I guess I don't know. Extra stuff and not realize it, but I can't for the life of me think I have. Why are y'all staring at me like that? Um, are you certain everything you just did is entirely necessary to it feed the pigs? <laughs> what? Of course. Why would I be doing it if it weren't? Sometimes you just don't know what's good for yourself. Squeak so loud the pigs would run to the other side of the pen and never come out. So I open and close it to let them know it's safe. But it doesn't squeak anymore. Of uh -huh. course not. I fixed that ages ago. Okay, then you didn't have to do it anymore. I realized putting a little fright into them got them all hustling out of the pen. They don't look scared to me. No. Well, no, they got used to it. Well, I can see. Which is why I started doing the chicken dance. To show them that if they didn't get to eat their food, the chicken would. Okay. Of course, being a chicken, I couldn't very well open the gate. Getting the food bucket to spill into the trough was just a happy accident, because one time I left it there by mistake. Okay. Uh, Applejack, it seems like everything you're doing is to fix things that aren't really problems anymore. Wow, okay. So basically, Why? she's making things harder for herself. It isn't so hard to get stuck doing extra work after all. Wow. Huh. I wonder if I've been doing that around here with anything else. Oh, yeah, let's figure it out. I would out. love to see what you made hard for yourself. Oh, God.
okay? Bring them all outside and then take all the eggs. Yeah. Alright, that, that, that works. Easy. Save off like 7,000 hours of your time. Let me guess. There's actually a mechanism to allow all of them to be... Why not open all of them? Or something? At the same... Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't, I don't know this one. I'm not, I'm not good with farming. Not to mention you have Twilight there just pretty much just all doing it all in one go. So is this trying to show her to, you know, do things easier for herself, or show how great magic is? In a certain way, I didn't realize there were any problems. Having a friend look at what you're doing with an outside eye can really help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I suppose if it weren't for our unsuccessful time at the spa, none of us would have realized it. Mm. Well, now that your chores are streamlined, what are you gonna do with all the extra time? If you know about it, it's too mainstream for me. <sighs> Think you can come up with enough things for us to do now that we have more time to relax? Oh, please. I could plan a week's worth of treatments. <laughs> well, let's just start with the rest of the day for now. After all the work we just did on the farm, I am ready for some serious relaxation. <sighs> Treat yourself. Thanks for That's the moral of the story. Happening. I don't know or, what you I know. make you without Other my things. pampered muscle massage. Don't worry about it. Shall I put you down for another event tomorrow? Oh, absolutely. Sometimes a girl just has to pamper herself. Am I right? You certainly are. <gasps> wow, it, R Rainbow Dash. Oh, oh, you're... Hey, I was just. Done was that a a different voice did I hear from you? Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Rainbow Dash. That's we're weird. We're heading in for some pampering ourselves. You could always join us. That is, if you don't mind suffering through one or two fruit fruit treatments. Yeah, I suppose I could take it. You know, yeah. for you ponies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the tank slippers. I'm pretty sure we've seen those before. I just I need to just point that out again. It's, it's really adorable how, how much he just loves tank. As for as for the episode on self, yet another episode that was just, you know, casual, laid back, not many, like, hype moments. The only kind of moments you could say were, like, like really, like, standoffish was seeing Applejack do everything on the list it was like having all of it mean nothing until after it was just it, it was okay that that part was funny um more more here is see if okay applejack likes to well i'm going to say she necessarily likes like as in like she would do it more than do anything else in the entire world but she she's a great to worker of things so we know that and she would always do anything to help any anyone, especially if it involves that kind of like field. And uh, we see that with the uh, she, she's easy, she, she's very keen to figure out things, even though we kind of already figured it out before she did. But that's the point. That's the point. It was pretty obvious to see what the problem was, which is why it's pathetic how they couldn't see it. Um, and Applejack fixed the problem, and then we see her pretty much. He just she does things. And keeps it that way. So it, it, it it's just like don't overwork yourself. You can streamline your work ethics pretty well. It's like I want to buy a gallon of milk. The only way I can go buy a gallon of milk is, of course, get the gallon of milk some at a store. Finding it at a store would cost money. So instead of going to a store, I'm gonna cut out the middleman and buy myself a cow. When I buy myself a cow, I'm gonna try to teach it and raise it to be a, a trained cow and milk it myself and so I can get fresh milk. However, as I realize, cows cost tons of money. So I'll go to the, I'll go out. There's like a field filled with cows. A field filled. I'm not lying. There's a field of cows where I am in Austin right now. If you go down straight line, 
if you go down all the way over there, you'll see a whole bunch of cows. So, I'll sneak in and milk the cows that are, I think it's illegal because they're not mine, and just make things harder for myself, get the milk that I need, uh, truck my the two and a half mile way back home, get down, I have milk. Or, you know, I can just go to 7-Eleven and buy it for $3. But, you know, <laughs> think about it. That's pretty much what Apple Deck was going through. And uh, it, it, I, I know what they were trying to do, you know, with the whole montage of her overworking herself and things that she could have easily done, like, to make things easier. But, yeah, uh, it, it, it mostly showed how having friends to help you in these sort of scenarios is a lot better than doing it yourself. Like, if you need help, just ask for it, which is a thing that we got done in, like, Season 1. <laughs> uh, she, uh, the whole fixing the fence thing... She's trying to fix one particular part where she where she has enough fence to just replace the entire thing, which I guess is a lot easier to do than trying to fix a particular area. You know, you need to get like the, the, the like the sizing down and all that. But if you just replace the entire thing, it's perfectly fine. But that's a waste. In, but but you know, that's a waste in gate or whatever it is. I mean, whatever. As for the chicken thing, yeah, it's pretty easy to see that she all she had to do was just like put the food, and then have all of them go out there, then get all the eggs, instead of doing individually one at a time. That's pretty much it. That was her main problem. She has to do everything one at a time and make things harder for herself. So, yeah. Again, it, not much to talk about this episode. Just, the episode was alright. Really good. Uh, it, it's not, because I, one thing that I kind of thought about would have been, like, a tad bit better. I know this is supposed to be, like, uh, uh, broadening or like expanding upon uh, Rarity and Abadak's relationship because how we know in like the very beginning of the series how their relationship was always a little bit uh, shaky considering that they're like polar opposites from one another and now we're getting to the episodes where they're uh, still kind of polar opposites from one another but they already acknowledge that and they're friends to the point where they can just do things like this to relax and hang out with each other but for me um, this is having the Discord effect on me with Starlight right now. I want to have some episodes where Starlight is having individual episodes with the other main cast, because if she's part of the main cast now, I would love to see her get into scenarios and situations where she hangs out with the other uh, with the other uh, main six. So far, the episodes that we're getting with Starlight right now either involves, like, a conflict that is involving, like, a lot of different, oh my god, this moment, or Twilight. And we already know she's Twilight's pupil, so of course they need to be together, but I would really like the friendship dynamic to also go with Starlight with all the other characters. Like, instead of being Applejack or or even Rarity or something like that, or, or replace Applejack or Rarity with uh, Starlight, have Starlight have something to, uh, something to do to, like, when, when to go into her studies or something like that, or have it to be... Uh, replaced with Rarity, and she's like, okay, I want to hang out with Applejack. The only way I can hang out with Applejack is by going to the spa. That's something we can do together. But she's always caught up in her work, so what can I do to help her so to get out of her work so we can just finally hang out together and see if we get to know each other a little bit more. That sort of scenario kind of pops up in my head when it comes to seeing this episode. But again, the Rarity dynamic is also good. And I won't lie, uh, if there's one thing that I need to, like, get out there when it comes to doing reactions, uh, especially with this series, there have been moments in this episode that were kind of, like, lacking in a bit. It's like, in it, it, certain moments, there's just like, mm, like, so, like, panned, straight, not any high points, not t particularly low, it's just like, nothing to really talk about in those scenarios. If it was supposed to be meant to be a joke, it didn't really hit home. And, it, you know, it, it, I like this joke, uh, I like this show with its casual humor and whatnot, but it, there have been moments in this episode where it's just, like, kind of bad out, but still a good episode all uh, in on itself. So, what, and also, since this is a thing that Applejack just now learned, that it goes to say that she's probably been doing this for a long time. Like, basically adding things to, to stuff that didn't need to be added on to. And it, it actually kind of makes it kind of sad. So she's been overworking herself for the past year and a half or two years that this show has been going on. I'm talking about in Showtime, not like uh, Showtime as a whole. Uh, however, we still don't even know how long it's been since since the very first episode. So, eh, we're just, we're just going to go off on that. So, again, pretty cool episode. Nothing really much to talk about than what I already talked about. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.